Hello everyone, welcome back into this tutorial on provisioning tool. We know that provisioning tool is one of the new features in Informatica MDM 10, which help us to create a business entity model and other interesting components. In today's session, we are going to see other root node. You might have seen in the previous session, you got the overview idea about the provisioning tool, what are the components present and how to create those. But hence forward, we are going to see uh, in-depth knowledge about the provisioning tool. So keep watching this space for more updates about the provisioning tool hence forward. In today's session, we are going to see how to create a root node. Root node is very important and basic thing in the provisioning tool. Before going to jump and create the root nodes, we should aware some of the facts such as the root node is the uppermost node in the business entity model and it defines the business entity type. For example, person, product, organization. We know that person, organization, product or address, these are the business entity. You might know these are the subject area in the IDD. So you have to define this business entity type or we call as a root node in the provisioning tool. It is very first thing in the provisioning tool which we need to define. Business entity created directly in the provisioning tool do not work in identity. So suppose if you create any business entity in the provisioning tool, we cannot push to push that in the identity. One of my viewer, we, YouTube viewer, he asked me whether we have to create business entity first in the provisioning tool or we have to create the entity uh, subject areas first in the identity. So you might got the answer here. So as we know, we cannot push the business entity for the provisioning tool to IDT. It becomes mandatory for us to create the subject area in the IDD. If you do not use IDD application, so yes, in the some of the businesses, they do not like the look and feel of the ID, look and feel of the IDD application, rather than they develop their own custom application, which will serve as a, the functionality which are available in the IDD application. However, in such case where the users are not using IDD application, but they want to use the functionality of the business entity services as a web service, then we can generate the uh, business entity in the provisioning tool and we can publish to publish it to the MDM hub. And those the business entity services, which are nothing but the web service acting as a web services, will be available to use in the custom application. We can also use the provisioning tool to edit business entity which are already defined in the MDM hub schema. How to do that? Yes, we will see that in our upcoming session. Today's session is more important with respect to root node. How to create root node? What are the things associated with the root node? Suppose if you create the root node, what after that what we have to do? Once you create a basic root node, then we have to define the properties for the root node define then we have to define the business entity model so business entity model will be the best on the design what are the data model behind the mdm hub what are the data model behind the mdm hub we can replicate as a business entity model then we have to configure the reference entities also we have to establish a lookup root node it means we have to create a lookup root node there, so right now you can see there is a one root node based on the main entity main business entity and there will be some lookup root node for example the country country is a kind of reference data or the lookup data we have to create a lookup node state code state code or the state are nothing but the reference data we have to create a lookup node for that etc then we have to configure the properties for the lookup node what are these properties associated with the root node? So we saw right now that there are two types of root node. One is business entity root node and lookup root node. There are some other root node also, but before going to see that, let's see what are the properties associated with this root node. Basically, there are six properties associated with each root node, which is applicable to business entity root node, lookup root node, etc. And this property is nothing but name, label, description state management enable base object and label format 
So name is nothing but uh, the name which you want to give to the business entity. For example, what is the name in your subject area in the IDD, something like that. The label, the node name as it appears in the provisioning tool tree view. So, so it uh, the what are the nodes you are going to create? It as it will be displayed as a tree structure which you might have seen in my previous session. So those tree structure need to have some label and those label are given with the format with the given label then description you can provide the additional information about that root node state management enable it determines if state management is enforced among all nodes in the business entity it is the same like the state management in the MDM hub then the base object so we have to provide the base object in which is present in the MDM hub that is associated with the root node by now you might know you come to know that there is a prerequisite we have to first create the base objects in the MDM hub then and then only you will be able to create the business entity model in the provisioning tool then the label format the label format of the nodes name that displays in multiple views in the IDD application so in the IDD we have the multiple views so how do you want to display like for example if you have the task view or data view I want to how I want to display the same name in the different with a different label that format we can define for example if you want to attach the raw idea object to your label when you want to see in the task view so you can do that in the label format so these are the details about the root node so let's create our first root node in provisioning tool so before going to see that we have to make sure we are configured base objects in the MDM hub so this this is very prerequisite so we have created two base object one is party and second is lookup country so CBO party is table which is a base object table and second is a lookup table what we'll do will enable the state management so we have the state management let's acquire the right log very simple just select it save it the state management property available at the base object label in the advanced section for the lookup country we know that LK country is a lookup table whenever you have the lookup table I would recommend enable the lookup indicator so lookup indicator is also base object level property you can see in the advanced section at the bottom you have the lookup indicator so for the lookup country we will enable two properties state management enable and lookup indicator once it is saved we will go to go back to the provisioning tool so provisioning tool url will look like this server name port and then provisioning keyword no need to provide this login it will automatically come there then you have to provide the username and password and click on the login once it is logged in it will take us to the provisioning tool we can monitor the logs also let's save the properties for the lookup country and if you want not sure whether which table is selected you can see it to the basic section enable the state management and the lookup indicator and save it and also make sure you have the valid ORS so you can check that in, by going to the repository manager and meanwhile you can see we have logged into provisioning tool and we can see the various sections such as home business entity UI configuration so this is saved let's double check or is in valid state yes or is in valid state so we are good there now in order to create a root node you have to go to the business entity click on the modeling in the business entity you can see the various thing modeling transformation task and extension out of this we have to select modeling in the modeling section at the left hand panel you can see the reference entity business entity business entity view and relationship so we know that we are going to create a business entity 
so select business entity click on the create button when you click on the create button the next two panels will be enabled out of this panel you have to select first base object so as we know the business entity is stored in the party table give the name as a person out you have to give the label which will be displayed in the provisioning tool so i will give the p or let me give the t person or peter p it's a provisioning tool person label so i would just give the pt person person holds individual entity business entity the reason i mentioned person specifically because we can create organization entity also then i will select the state management enable and if you enable if you select this label format you can it will give us a format such as task format no field format exit format etc we'll see in detail one of the demo on demo on this for now just will unselect it click on the apply button and it will create a a person entity for us so we can see a person entity a person root node is created so this way we can create a person root node so in upcoming session we will see how to create the other root nodes such as a reference entities business entity views and relationships i hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand how to create root nodes thank you for watching my video and have a nice time